Nowadays, people are very much more savvy when it comes to dining out. They're very more cautious when they're coming in to spend money. They're watching what they spend. So no matter what it is that they're purchasing, no matter what it is that they're ordering, they want uh, quality and they want consistency. And that's one thing that we're able to provide um, on a nightly basis at the restaurant. Post and Beam is definitely a California seasonal style restaurant. We have um, an amazing wood burning oven. We have uh, open hearth grills and whatnot. So what we do there, it's all very ingredient driven. So we definitely source out some of the best uh, produce available. We shop at all the local farmers markets. We have um, an on-site garden that provides us with all the herbs and some of the lettuces for the restaurant as well. And obviously we buy the best quality uh, meats available. All the fish is very seasonal and local. Well, my background started when I was really young. I got my first job as an apprentice at Wolfgang Puck's restaurant, uh, Spago, uh, pretty much the year that he had opened in Los Angeles. And I'd always been passionate about food, always been passionate about growing food and working in the gardens as a family and whatnot. And I always had a connection with food in general, from raw product to actually cooking and preparing and serving people was just something that really brought me um, a lot of joy when I was young. And it was just something that I pursued um, from my childhood, you know, to, to now. I chose not to go to culinary school and just stayed in college. Uh, I have a business background, which obviously is a very large part of the restaurant business, is not only understanding and knowing the creative side, but it's really um, being able to work with the numbers. And, you know, we have pretty small, small margins in the restaurant business, so the better you are at that side, the, the more sustainable your business can be. But, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, something that I've always wanted to do. I didn't, you know, I definitely have other interests, but it was, there was really nothing I ever wanted to pursue other than becoming a chef and owning my own restaurants. I was able to see some of the most amazing cattle. It's just really one of those things that brings a lot of joy to me is going out and seeing how these animals are raised and the care, um, how they're taken care of and, and nurtured and whatnot. And just meeting the people and putting a face to the name was really important for me. It's, you know, a product that I've been using for quite some time and it's really nice uh, for me to be able to go to the source and see how these animals are raised and processed and whatnot. So it was a real, true eye-opener for me. I'm a diehard carnivore. Don't let the Hindu name fool you for one second. The meat that we serve is definitely certified Angus beef. It's something that uh, drives a lot of customers to our restaurant. They know that they can get quality. They know that there's always going to be consistency in the product that we're serving. Our food, like I said, is very uh, ingredient driven, so it's simply prepared, and we really let each product speak for itself. As opposed to like jamming a concept down a community's throat, I really sort of look at what their needs are and, and you know the, the ingredients that they're working with and really just put my spin on things, which is generally lightening things up and still presenting them in a way that they're familiar with and using their ingredients is something that um, I've really enjoyed. So, you know, if I'm opening a restaurant in, in LA or Miami, it can be a very similar concept, but they'll have two different menus. So I'll really try and uh, localize each one, and that just uh, really keeps things interesting for me as well. I, I, it's brought me a lot of joy. It's, I've met some fantastic people along the way. I get to work with some of the best product available, and um, I couldn't be happier.